from your exclusive home for minor league baseball. MLB The Show is on the air. It's time for game three of this four-game series between the Iowa Cubs and the Fresno Grizzlies. And before we progress any further, let's have a quick look at our two starting lineups for tonight. And then briefly, let's take a look at the two starting pitchers who get the assignment here. Dick will stand in, and he was a big part of the win last night as he contributed three hits to his guy's effort. Now the first pitch. Swing and a miss at a first pitch changeup, nothing in one. That first pitch change can be a tough one. A guy doesn't have any point of reference to work from, and he just can't help himself up there. And this ball will be chopped foul. Pitch in the dirt is swung on and missed, so he'll need to get the force at first. Oh, and it sailed right over his head at first. Now, luckily, the right fielder gets it in quickly, though, so there'll be no further advance. Well, you know, sometimes when it's so cold out there and your fingers get just a little bit numb, it's not always easy to grip the baseball. And this is a throw that you should be able to make, but you know the conditions out there aren't exactly ideal. Ethan Gordon come forward now back in the lineup after being used as a pinch hitter last night throw over to first and he just manages to get his hand in and again a throw and he has to dive but he's back in easily And yet another throw over. And he'll dive back in. Now the first pitch is in the air out toward right field. Whitehead is there to put it away and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Andre Potts will get his first cuts here with two gone now and a runner at first. And the curveball bounces here, but a good job behind the plate to keep it at arm's length. And he is safe at second, and the wild pitch here could prove costly with two away. And sometimes those curveballs, when they hit the dirt, they've got a lot of spin on them. They react in funny ways. Here it looks like he's in good position to block this thing, but... It winds up kicking away, and that's a wild pitch. Good lead there at second. Here's the pitch. Now a swing and a fly ball. But this will land out there just foul. And he's fallen behind now. Three and one. Nick Noonan would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Good lead off a second there. Now the pitch. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with two out. Nick Noonan will get a shot now with two on and two out here in inning number two. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Well, not really how you want to start the next guy after a walk. That pitch isn't even close. Getting a few steps off a second there. Now the pitch. Here's a changeup that's right there, one and one. Called strike in a dangerous location there, one and two. Now you can't look for a specific pitch. You just got to protect the plate. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. Again, a one-two. To two balls and two strikes now. Whoa, that one definitely took off on him right there. He's 
lucky that thing didn't go all the way to the backstop. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. Breaking ball is swung on and bounced to short. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Dick will step in. He's 0 for 1 thus far. First pitch coming. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. Oh, he can't hold on there as he swings and misses on a pitch in the dirt, and he's down 0 and 2 now. Yeah, not a real good effort there. That pitch was never going to be a strike. Pitch here fouled away. And he'll take the fastball here inside off the plate. It's one and two. And now, as a hitter, one and two, you've got to be thinking right center field. He'll take a little swing out and try to drive something the other way. And he'll fight just to stay alive here as this is fouled away. There's the good curveball as he set down on strikes for the second time here tonight. Well, I gotta tell you guys, it's one thing to have a lot of raw talent, but once you get to this level, you gotta have a little something between the ears, too. And I'll tell you, that's just poor pitch recognition right there. Tug Dick will try again. Struck out swinging his last time through. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. Uh, he just about went around. He, he was lucky to put on the brakes when he did. Check swing. No swing, says the home plate umpire. Ball two. A much better approach here at the plate so far. Uh, he's not working from behind in the count like he has his first few at-bats. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to two and one. Good fastball that time as he's pulled the count back to even now. It's two and two. And he just does manage to fight this one off as it's fouled away. Runners on first with one down. And this misses, so that'll fill the count at three and two. Now the question, do you send the guy on three and two with one out? You figure you're going to get something around the plate. And here's a fastball that he takes the other way out to fairly deep right. Whitehead is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Now, well, we're, we're still looking for that first run of the ball game. Thought for a second this might be it, but, but it just didn't have enough steam behind it. Orlando Whitehead will stand in for the fourth time now, still looking for his first hit of the ball game. And he's not the only one either. This has been a great pitching performance so far, and they've had these guys chasing their tails all game long. And that finds a seam for extra bases, as we'll see if they want to wheel that go-ahead run home from first.
Tug Dick will stand in. He flew out his last time up. And he waves at a curveball there. No balls in a strike. You have to say, they've really had a good game plan for attacking the three, four, five hitters all game long. Yeah, and I think the only thing that's better than a game plan has been the execution of that game plan. You're exactly right. They've held this lineup at bay. And that's what speed does. Just a little ground ball here, but he's hustling all the way and beats it out for an infield single. Ethan Gordon stands in as he looks at a cold strike. Hits are even right now at five aside. And now this is swung on and pulled down the third base line. Uh, this will get foul for strike two. Ooh, tough to lay off there, but it's called a ball one and two. And he's going to find out quickly. Guys are even more selective up here at AAA. Breaking ball misses the corner. Two balls and two strikes. Four pitches. Fast, slow, fast, slow. EK, you thinking fastball here? And it seems to fit the pattern, but you better not get too predictable out there. Guys will catch on quick. Yeah, he had a chance to put him away. Had him down 0 and 2. Tried to get him to chase a couple of times. He wouldn't do it. And he winds up making contact on a good pitch. There. Andre Potts will step in now as his guys look for a breakthrough here with a runner in scoring position. Yeah, that's been a long time coming. They haven't done anything with their opportunities so far. Maybe this would be the time that they finally crack the scoreboard. And he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control 0-2. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. And here's a swing and a miss. And that, folks, is a big out number two. Nick Noonan will stand in now with the tying and winning runs on base and two men gone here in the ninth. First pitch curveball runs in a bit too tight. It's ball one. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. and oh. And one thing you can't do here, you cannot lose him and load the bases. He's still got a couple pitches to play with, but I'd expect this one to be somewhere in the strike zone. Boy, nothing working for him at this point. It's 3 0. Ruled a strike on the outside corner. 3 and 1. Yeah, a much better pitch there than the one he threw on 2 0. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. is ball four, so now that potential time run scoots up 90 feet to third base. Carlos Sanchez will be called upon here to hit with the game on the line. There's a good fastball on the outside corner as he'll take a look at strike one. And that's what he needed here with two outs. He couldn't afford to fall behind another guy here in the inning, so that's a good job to jump in that driver's seat with strike one. Throw in time, and the ball game is over. Wow, just a really great game to watch from beginning to end. A well-pitched, one-nothing ball game. This is just a broadcaster's dream. Time for one final check of the line score as you see the key players there in this shutout victory. Well, you always hope to get a good outing from your starting pitcher, but this man went above and beyond in this one. He's our top player of the game. And this is what you want out of your starter. It gives them seven strong innings.
let's also get a look here at our starting pitchers matchup as you see two southpaws getting the call here in this one. Ryan Gaucho will stand in back in the lineup after getting the night off yesterday. And he didn't quite get all of it as this is lifted in the air out towards left center. Parks will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. Tug Dick will stand in and you see what he's done over the past four games as hot as they come. Sharply past the mound and on into center field for a one-out single. Oh, and that's a good sign right there. They're really hoping to get him going out of that two spot. And he comes through big time right here with a first inning single. Runners off for second. And he will scurry back to first as they'll think twice about trying to move up. And he gets a piece of this one to foul it toward the backstop. Now a throw over and a dive, but he's back in there. Using the fastball exclusively here, it's 0-2. Oh, that's a good fastball right there. And you had to figure that he was looking for that sinker. Now a throw over to first. A dive, but he's back. Runner at first here, one man out. On the move again from first. Swing and a ground ball to first. And he'll take this over to the back for the out. But meanwhile, the runner moves into scoring position at second. Harold Good will stand in here, and like so many others, hitless in the shutout last night. And now the runner's trying for third. Pitches a cold strike, the throw. And he will be nailed at third on a questionable decision, to say the least, in the inning is over. Edgar Rodriguez will get his first shot here, and you can see that average pushing 400 to this point in the season. Lined into left center. Well, the shortstop's got in play perfectly. Tug Dick makes his way to the plate to get us started here in the bottom of inning number three. First pitch sinker misses in on the hands that time. It's a ball and no strikes. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first and no swing. It's ball two. Now a sinker falls in there for a called strike, two and one. And this is swung on and bounced up the center of the diamond. Throw beats him by a half a step. He almost beat that out. As an infielder, you always have to know who the runner is out there. Here, when he fields this thing, if he tries to set himself, he's got no chance at all. He knows he has to unload quickly, and he does so to get his man on a close play at first. Ryan Gaucho will stand in to start things off as this top of the batting order hasn't found a whole lot of success so far. 
In fact, just one hit between the one, two, three hitters combined. So apparently the table setters have not been getting their chores done. And the sixth inning opens with a flyout, one away. Well, this is one of those situations where his guys got him the lead early on, and he's been in complete control ever since. I mean, he's barely been threatened out there. Here's a bouncing ball now up the middle, and it's going to sneak its way into center field for a one-out base hit. Charles Roth will take another shot here. He's flied out and lined out in two trips. And he goes the other way with a fastball as this is hit in the air toward the gap in right center. And that's in there. Base hit. Throw comes back in quickly, so put the runners at first and second now, still with only one away. Darnell McDonald will dig in one for two. He grounded out the first time and followed that with a base hit in his second plate appearance. And this ball swung on and hit on the ground. Throw gets him two down. Tug Dick will dig in here one for two. He singled and grounded out so far. Here's a swing and a ground ball. But a foul ball here, 0 and 1. Now a swing and a hard hit ball to short. Throw on to first in time, one away. And the off speed stuff just continues to keep guys off balance here. He's still just got that one strikeout on his ledger, but. He's had these guys in knots all throughout. Chris Valaika will lead it off here in the top of inning number seven. Swing and he pops him up. Behind the bag at second. Gordon retreats to the outfield grass and he has it for round number one. Tug Dick will get another crack, one for three thus far. Now a ball slapped hard the opposite way, and it's a base hit. And just like that, the potential tying run is aboard here to start the home half of the night. Carlos Sanchez will step in with the tying run on first, so he's got to concentrate and work on getting on base here. He'll start him with a high strike here on the fastball on the outside corner. It's 0-1. A high fastball that time in the strike zone and on the outside corner. But that is a dangerous spot to be pitching if you're only throwing in the low 90s. Might have thought about it here, but he lays off the breaking ball inside. It's even at 1. That's in there on the outer half. 1-2 and two now. Yeah, he must have been looking for that same breaking ball because... That pitch, it's right there. And he gets under this one a bit as this is lifted into center field. Gaucho will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. Harold Good will stand in. He popped out in his last time. And he drops in a strike to start the at-bat. Nothing in one. Not a bad idea to take a look at that one there. Now that you've seen the curveball, you can start to get a better gauge on it. Get a feel for what it looks like coming out of the pitcher's hand. The 1-1 home to right field. Rosario will have plenty of room as he makes the catch, and there's a big out number two. Rafael Corona will try again, 0 for 3 thus far. There's a 
strike at the knees, 0-1. And, and this offense has just been stuck in neutral. Even when they get a guy on to start the inning, they've got nothing to go with it. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Taken called strike two, and now they're down to their final strike tonight. And a good pitch there. It's a big front door curveball. He had no way of opening up. And this ball swung on and hit to center field, and this should do it. Gaucho is there to make the catch, and with that, the ball game is over. And you know what? I don't care who you're playing. You know, it's never easy to go out on the road and win any game. So that was a great effort by them in every phase of the game. This one, definitely a low-scoring affair as we get one last look at our final line score. Well, you always hope to get a good outing from your starting pitcher, but this man went above and beyond in this one. He's our top player of the game.